still hangs in my closet, waiting for the right occasion. Huh? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh <laughs> okay. Let's go. All right. It's Jessica and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Again, I'm very sorry to go to, we're gonna, you know, go to the main mission in a second. I do want to continue where we left off with um, Detective Ward with I Fought the Law side quest. So uh, there was a hot detective, which I found out you can romance and he's romanceable to female V. Judy may have competition, I'm just saying. I, I want to get to know him, though, for real. Because if he's another companion, it's great to have another ally regardless. So, let's talk with him. This is Ward. Who am I talking to? Name is Your v. future girlfriend. What? the death of one Lucius Rhine. Wonder why you're not a cop. Working for the Perellas, constructing a private investigation. I know you tried to warn the mayor. Ooh. Should I just get right into it? Listen, I know you tried to warn Ryan about the cyber psycho. What else do you know? That you'd best meet with me. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be there, stat. Okay. I feel like he's the type of guy just be upfront and honest and uh, instead of dancing around the question. So I'm gonna do that. All right. So this is Chubby Buffaloes, huh? Where is he? Oh, wait, he's with someone. Someone here to see you, looks like. Huh. Wonder what about. Uh, like to talk with you. Wanted to talk. You got a minute? You must be V. Yeah. Your partner, Detective Hong. Ah, I see. Thanks for greeting me with you. Step off the side to talk alone, can we? I don't want to be rude. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to me. You really intend to work with a merc? I don't know what I intend just yet. For now, I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. You can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friend, just let the case go. You see me do anything? I'm just sitting here sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. He's the honest cop kind of guy, isn't he? Go he can't let this go anyway. because it's not solved. Like the and death of the mayor. Find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be overheard. It's not a bad idea, actually. Okay. Talk. All right. Part is not a fan of edge runners. Uh, what do you want to tell the mayor? Ooh. For the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. It's meant to straight up to it. What was know? it? Let me ask you a question first. Why do you got your nose in this? Who hired you? Sorry. Never give up the names of my clients. Well then, I'm sure you've got plenty of other leads besides me. I mean, I sure hope so, because I'm not telling you a thing. And I'm not being mean or nosy, nor is it personal. Just covering my own ass. My own safety's at stake, too. So, That's fair. Before I open my mouth, I need to know whose ears are listening. That's fair, that's Morales honestly fair. Me. And her husband, Jefferson. The presumed future mayor. <laughs> Guess I could have seen that coming. I like his outfit, no just way. saying. Han was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Uh, okay. okay. Sure. Which, what does he drive? The fancy car out there or the, the truck? I wonder. Ah, uh, he's the truck guy, okay. <laughs> I'm surprised Johnny hasn't made a comment just yet. Cause we're working with a cop, I imagine he's not a, he's not gonna be a fan of this. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters. Hollering how he's gotta meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. Took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. Yeah, I'm sure he got lost. So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that? Because you got a good heart. Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. Ashamed? No. It's not something you see every day. Oh, is he like a really... That's interesting! 
interesting because like a lot of characters that we have met in Night City, they're not really genuine in that term. Like even the way that I play V, I play her as a sarcastic asshole. But like, we don't really see people who are genuinely like, I want to help. You know? City got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. Before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the Hush Hush? Um, as I see it, Perales is out to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? Dunno. But even if he's not, a murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Perales could just be scared. Doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first. <laughs> who would? Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. Oh, come on, don't do that. Do with Ryan? Guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. Yeah, maybe then it's like we'll a private club. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. Ooh, we, huh? Sorry, we? Can't shake this case. Something's up. Just look how quickly it was closed. This way, you can get your job done, while I find evidence that gets my chief to reopen the case. Win-win. So, where'd you Kind of like River right now. Like, I, I know he's all stoic or whatever, but, like, I like the way that he thinks. Let's go see his boss. Let's go meet with your CI. Ooh, I don't know what we should do first. Do Let's go see his boss first. Guy who can afford all the chrome he was decked out in should have the scratch for psycho muting meds, too. We better check it out. Okay. All right. Cherry Blossom Mark. Oh, I'm here again. This is where Judy kissed me. <laughs> A good 90% of any detective's job is talking. And the other 10%. What's it consist of? Writing reports. So, who are we supposed to talk to? Cyber Psycho's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on. Huh. Okay. No idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start oh. from the left. You take the right. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. Christine Markov, know her? Has a stall here. Don't know any Christine. This isn't BD Heads Anonymous. Christine Markov. I don't know her. You need to get your optics checked. Uh, not get out. You Christine Markov? No, but I know who she is. Stand with the tech over on the other side. You Christine Markov? Stand with the tech? Okay. She's over there. Stall with the tech. Ah, okay. I can't fit through. Damn it! <laughs> oh, River. Well, I was trying to be somewhere, but I found Christine Markov waiting for you. Well, at least he has the courtesy to text me and tell me. I like him. You Christine Markov? We have some questions. You badges? Uh, we're... Ooh. Looking for data on Petar Horva. Worked here, apparently? Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working, started making speeches all the time. Speeches? Horvath make good scratch here? Could've bought this whole market with the chrome he was packing. <laughs> oh, yeah, made scads on scads here. <laughs> Mother millionaire, like we all are. So where'd he get the eddies? Know anything? Look, if I knew, I wouldn't be here selling scop to tower trash. I'd get myself an AV, fly my f***ing slim ass out of here. Peter showed up one day with all that. Extra worked up, too. Whacked enough that I asked him where he got it. He said somebody finally seen what he was worth. And then he launched right into one of his tirades. When did the weird behavior actually start? When you're talking about Peter, weird doesn't mean what it means to everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. Oh, so he's kind of like... like... post-jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath? Gonks both, but completely different gonks. These speeches. What did he have to say? Ryan, a corpse got him by the balls and... But he still managed to... Me. His motto. Why do you have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Did he did he know the mayor personally? If he's saying it like that, 
Facebook. I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to f him, then get him. Had to be some other connection between them. Horvath singled out anyone else who had it in for him. So as Horvath saw, who else had it in for him? Besides Ryan? A madame president, mostly. Then Arasaka, the Giza, and when he died, it was a son's turn. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my clientele. Okay. What do you think, Robert? Somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Horvath had sponsors. Hmm. We might have guessed as much. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. But sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Okay. Minor detail means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. A neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. The guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it I up. like the way that he thinks. It's Still so different. Who are these guys? Are you? Great. Let me handle this, V. Okay. Are they tiger claws? Yeah. Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. He said he got it. I don't want to butt in. He said he got it. I'm going to trust server. Right. You did lose your only associate who could string two sentences together. Too bad he also liked diddling little kids. Ooh. Here's my offer. Get the fuck out of here, and I won't arrest you as accessories in the murder of Mayor Ryan. And wash your fucking wheels, pig. Damn. I mean, I guess a lot of people would hate the police. Because, like, I've I've done a lot of side missions while I was playing off camera. The cops are a bunch of assholes. <laughs> like, honestly, they were beating up some dude in an alleyway because uh, he had money on him. So, like, I don't blame some of the people's, like, reaction towards River. But River is different. I can tell he's he's gonna be, like, the honest type of dude who genuinely wants to help people. It's just unfortunate because the line of work that he has. It's kind of like V. People see us as just like a scumbag, but V isn't just like a average merc. So don't judge a book by its cover, basically. Walking the streets with you? <laughs> Downright unsafe. Yeah. Gotta beef with all gangs or just the tigers. I'm a cop. What do you think? Everybody. Good thing nobody got killed. A little less paperwork. I'll talk to my CI about your club, Red Queen's Race. Assuming you're still on board. You kidding? Yeah. Gonna ride with me? Yeah, I'll ride with you. Yeah. <laughs> My guy works here. You go talk to him. I'll what? Wait outside. Why? Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. He's your CI. Yeah. You. Well, uh, last we met, it didn't go so well for him. People he ratted out got wind of it. I think you got a better chance of getting him to talk without me. Oh, that he doesn't have trust in you right now? Who is this guy? The proud proprietor. He's got all sorts of clients, and he's nosy as hell. So he knows all about everyone. Plus, he's a coward. Perfect combo. All right. Wait here, then. Sir? You're looking for a uh, general inspiration or something specific? Dude, what is up with your hair? Need inspiration for your hair, sir. What the hell is that? The club. Red Queen's race? If I was you, I'd try somewhere a little more welcoming. Lizzie's over in Kabuki is a good start. Or Cloud's in Japantown. Want an address? Look, club's invitation only, right? You don't know the address, means you're not welcome. Hmm. Igor says hi. Fuck, no. Said I was done. I was out. What? Alone. Okay, you're lucky I'm strong as hell. Dude, come on, let's not do this. Where are you? Hey, oh, River! Piss off. 
Relax. Just got one question to ask you. I really like River. <laughs> Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Leave me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. Uh, nobody will find out you'll help us. We can and we will. Give me the address and we'll leave you alone. Red Queen's race. Give just us the address. Just do it, just We're do going. it. Heard that already last time. Then those motherfuckers show broke all my fingers. I'll make sure nothing happens to you. I'll bring more. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say that. Now I am. I'll make sure nothing happens to you. Anyone asks, we'll say we got the address off a body we fished out of the bay. Ugh, fine. It's outside city limits. Near the river. Benita Street area. You been there? Made some deliveries. Goods. Sometimes peeps. We got no idea why you want to go poking around there. Club's empty. They shut it all down. Shut it down? Before or after Mayor Rhine died? Uh, soon after, I guess. That's Thanks, suspicious. <sighs> My shit luck! Well, well. That's what I call a breakthrough. Mm -hmm. I'm headed straight for Benita Street. so tall. Come um, with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm 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 coming sure. with you. Thanks. Is this the place? Come on, V. Okay. This is kind of creepy. Do you not think this is creepy? This is uh animal turf. They got a problem with you too. Think you can talk your way around the animal? Oh my god, you have a problem with them this too, is don't animal you? Turf. I can see that. Lock up any of theirs recently? Not lately, no. But they're not big fans of pigs either. I can't go in without a warrant. But I can. Uh huh. Uh. All right. River, you know. Oh god. You you're lucky. You're time. hot because I'm doing all the work for you. God damn it. Okay. No wonder he parked all the way over there. I was like, why is he parking over here? All right, let's see what we got. I mean, I fought the animals, fought when I was with um, the voodoo boys. Okay, let's take out the cameras first or security, whatever that is. Wonder if I can talk to them. You think they'll say anything to me? Hi. Oh. Fuck off. Okay, that Nothing didn't work. Damn it. There has to be a way in. I can get in through the back or something like that. Ooh, hello. Found a side door. Animals are letting their guard down. Probably haven't checked it out in ages. <gasps> whoa! Whoa! Okay. Trudge around and check shit. Only thing I do all day. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Okay, I'm gonna have to dump this dude. Okay. Looks like a normal body shop to me. Club's here. I'm telling you. Telling me, you got a hunch. Cop intuition. Something like that. Okay. Kind of scared to move around. Oh god, that scared me. That's the TV. <laughs> okay. Um I gotta keep dumping these holy shit. That's why I wanna dump the bodies. I don't I don't wanna just leave them out like that. These guys come out of nowhere. Ooh, there's a door right there. That could be the entrance to the place. I see a door. Yep, this is it. Stairs in. Whatever. Okay. Won't there be like some security guard or something? I might be screwed. Nice. Someone really wanted to cover up whatever it was that went down. What should we be looking for? Let's try to find something that looks like an office. Every club has one. True, usually they're on the second floor. Got 
be quick, gotta be quick. Way too close. Oh my uh -huh. god. Uh, mm. Looks like an office. Sort of. What? Comps are what you want. Comps Nothing left to clip here. We ain't watching it. We're fucking waiting. For what? Till they sent us the scratch for a job well done. Smash it up pretty fucking good, didn't we? We done our bit. Time for the pay up. Pay up from who? Give me intel, pay you half what they owe you. Ooh. I'll pay you. You get half of what you were promised. I have lots I of money, I don't care. I need. Half? For half, I can tell you how tall he is, but. Uh, okay. That's it. Half in your hand right now. Real scratch. Or the whole thing. Someday. Maybe, but probably never. Uh, uh, all right. Scratch. Now. Who told you to wreck the club? And why? Welding. Oh. Lucius Ryan's right hand bull terrier. Candidate for mayor in the upcoming election. Oh, so they I, were right. Yeah, There's the something fishy job. about this dude. Thanks for the help. Okay. Yep. Stiff as a board. If you ask me, he's been dead at least an hour. No. That's his partner. No trauma card. Pretty sure he didn't bring it on purpose. Uh, a club like this, you don't want TT banging down the door when you're banging away and things start to heat up. Hard, probably. Must have gotten a little too heavy and messy. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Died in his sleep, quiet as a baby. Boys are getting him out of here. Of course, nobody will see him. Damn! Right. No wonder the, the partner yep. was like, oh, you're looking into yes. this again? You should be right, careful. River, found some footage. You're gonna want to see this. Sending it your way. Your chum covered up the true circumstances of Ryan's death. My chum? You mean Han? Yeah, him. You didn't know. Not a thing? Shit. No, no, I can't. Get out of there, V. I'm gonna ping him. Tell him to meet at Chubby Buffalo's. And we're going straight there. Okay, hang on. Be there in a sec. Damn, sometimes it's be the closest people to you who betray you, huh? But like I said earlier, a lot of cops in Night City are very corrupt. So I, I genuinely feel bad for River because he thought he could trust his partner at least, Fuck. right? Oh, man. Y'all back you up. Don't worry. Even though, I, you know, I'm not really a cop, but I'll back you up. <laughs> Still hanging around with this punk? Shut it, Harold. I know what you did. Not yeah, about shut that. up. Why you covered it up. Not even why you jumped into this mess to begin with. Just want to know. Who gave you the order? What's the matter, River? Why do you even care? Your conscience is clear. You can sleep tight at night. You know why? Because I took all the responsibility. I think because he you knew that no River can't handle that. The city works. Think a goddamn inspirational, idealist mm -hmm. bullshit actually means something? It doesn't. Never did. Hey, don't look at me that way, Merc. I'll look at you, you how I want. Right. I know the game NC makes you play. Know the rules. All the tricks in the book. So you ought to know when to get in line. And when you can stick your neck out. Because you stick it out at the wrong time and there'll always be some shark ready to bite your head off. I don't know which way the wind's blowing. There's a line, though. There's a line. Not every order's worthy of being followed. Yeah. Let me tell you when I'll stop doing what I'm told. When I retire. Not a day sooner. Ought to consider doing the same, Ward. V. Appreciate the help. But this isn't your biz. I'll take care of it. 
How you gonna okay. do that? Am I under arrest? Got a scroll, got a motive, got your confession. So yeah, you could be. But it wouldn't make much but sense. But the thing is, would they do it? You don't even gotta say who ordered you to go and clean up. I know anyway. So since even our brass's fingers are all over this, I gotta take it to internal. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in your sights, though. Just go home, Ward. Get some sleep. Find all this easier to take in in the morning. I mean, that's my plan. He's not even bothered by this. Because he knows that River can't, can't win. Oh, no. What are you gonna do? He was right, sort of. Should have shot him. <laughs> so what uh, now? Won't well, let this go. Can't. Holt's murdered Ryan. Wanted his seat. Oldest, tritest motive in the book. That's why I believe it. Use the NCPD to cover his tracks. Sounds about right. Got no proof. No, it wasn't like that. I mean, honestly, can you? It's politics. I also like, think it was Holt. The only one who stood to gain. Taking this to internal affairs. Got enough to get this case reopened. If, even if I tell him don't, you think he's gonna listen to me? I'm just some random. And you? Gonna report back to the paralysis? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stay. Observe a little. Thanks, V. Yeah, sure. So I'm assuming um, we'll catch up with River later on when this mission continues, but let's call Elizabeth. So, about Rhine. Got a pretty good idea what happened. Great. Come by, please. It's a sensitive matter. I'd rather discuss it face to face. We'll be waiting. Okay. Wow, is this their apartment? Hello? Upstairs. Thanks. Buzz me in. Thank you. I mean, yeah, I guess this is their apartment. They are politicians. It's pretty fancy. Just gonna hey. tell you one. Oh god. Day. <laughs> what? Probably gonna be more than one, but all right. Don't tell them nothing. Don't get involved. This muck is deeper than you think. Suck you in if you're not careful. Wait, what do you mean? Chill on the drama. My role in this ends here. Fine, do whatever the fuck you want. Not like you listen anyway. Okay, even though Johnny does annoy me, but if he's getting a bad vibe from this, I should be careful. I mean, we've betra been betrayed already beginning of this game so maybe i should take that to heart oh hi hello v please come in make yourself at home jefferson will join us shortly because i also wonder if i do tell these people hey yo you know it was a setup and everything was covered up does that make it worse for river too because he can't complete his job either because they're politicians right they could get their way if they really wanted to just like han was saying like there's no use in this Please, you can tell whoever you want they're not going to do anything they're just going to look at river though as a liability oh have a seat okay thank you Good to see you, V. Hey. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. Got a decent picture of what went down. Can't draw any real conclusions. I'm gonna be skeptical Cases or like guarded just a little bit. Leaves a lot of questions unanswered. Rather not draw any conclusions yet. But you must have an opinion. Jeff, honey, read between the lines. The case is complicated. But dying at home of a cardiac malfunction, that's not complicated. So we were right? Yes. And that's enough for me. We have to be careful. Very careful, Jeff. That's what V's trying to tell us. Thanks for your help, V. Your fee. Okay. Uh, 
watch out for watch each other. Watch out for each other. That's it? Nothing else? Hey there. Now, where did we leave off? I'm concerned. Okay, I don't know how I feel about that ending. I don't know. I guess I'll just have to wait for River to call me eventually. But uh, let's head back to the Arasaka building and finally help Goto because he's been waiting for me forever. <laughs> okay, so if I remember correctly from scouting the area, we could literally go through the gate, which I don't want to do, but there was this like sidestepped area. Probably gonna go through there. Um, I just hope Goto's got everything under control on his side. But we'll see what happens. Amen. Now try to enter the warehouse. I will draw their attention away. Goto, by how? This is gonna be tough. Are you kidding me? There's like people everywhere. Oh my gosh. Yo, this is a bad idea. Holy shit, this is such a bad idea. There has to be an easier way. Huh. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Goro! Why? Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. There's so many people here. There's no way. How can I sneak in there? Hello? Because even if I knock out a guy, there will be some other guy looking and being like, what's going on over there? Oh, oh fuck. Okay, I have to make it to the other side. You are an easy target when you step out. Yeah, well, I got no choice. Ah, okay, go to. I see you now. Shut up. <laughs> sorry, sir. Why is everything locked? Everything's fucking locked. Never mind, I don't think I can go this way, can I? Maybe I can jump it? Highly doubt this, but. Climb the pipe. About to go in. Oh, I got it! Also. I just evaded the patrol. Okay, okay, okay. This is good thing I got that double jump upgrade. Oh my goodness. What is that? Oh, is that the parade okay. float? Okay. I'm the largest float. They are controlled from inside. That thing, it could be an ordinary terminal. Gotcha. How's things at your end? Good. I will reach the control room and make okay. a terrible mess. Very Good well. Good job. I am ready. When you finish, I'll make the system sick. Goro, this is such a bad idea. Why are we doing this again? Why did we think this is a good idea? Why did I agree to this crazy man's uh, idea? When he said, yeah, yeah, I can hack it. I can, I can, you know, oh, I can uh, make it through. Don't worry about it. Yeah, should have known. This is a terrible idea. There's a guy right there. Ooh, there's a guy right there. Bruh, how do I get through here? Can I climb this or something? No, there's no way. Fuck. Better check it out. Okay, when he turns, maybe I can make a run for it? Vault alarm. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, maybe I, there's a back door? Oh, God. Is there like a back door entrance? 
Come on! Nothing! Oh, there is! Side door, side door! Okay, okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna have to get rid of this guy. Or maybe not. Maybe I don't have to. Okay. Floats ours to do with as we please. You can fly to Tokyo if you want. I just may do that. Good work. Now it is my turn. Can you see? Terrible chaos. Even the roof is slowly. Me, the roof. That is your will. Okay. There are buildings around. Smaller ones. Oh, Use I see. I see. To come down. Okay, okay, okay. How the fuck do I get out of here? Can I, like, jump off? I'm not gonna make that. I have to jump on these things. Right? <laughs> oh my gosh, don't make too much noise. Woo! Go, 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 go! Go, go! Come on, come on! Oh my freaking goodness! Okay. It fucking worked. Holy shit! Excellent work, B. Okay, what now? <laughs> now we retreat into the shadows and arm ourselves with patience. I will contact you before the parade. Until then, try not to get into any more trouble. Yeah, I doubt that. As if I wasn't in enough already. <laughs> Oh my god, we did it! That was insane! I didn't even have to restart nothing! Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. I know I was joking about how, you know, River's very- I mean, he is hot. I'm sorry. I would romance him because I do think I would like his character, but I want to commit to Judy because I still like her, you know, the best. I love her personality and we still have our date. So maybe when I play this game again, I'll romance um, River, but for now, my canon romance is gonna be Judy. So we're gonna go over there and meet her up at this cottage and go on a date. Okay, so this is where she wants to meet up with us. It's very isolated out here. Perfect for our first date. I'm still calling it a date, even though she didn't she didn't confirm it, but still, that's what I'm calling it at. Alright, we gotta wait for Judy because she said a specific time she'll be here, so. She's so cute! V, looking good. You too. You mean, considering the shit we've been through. Well, factor that in and you look fucking amazing. She's so cute. Any news from the <laughs> monsters? Events? Ideas? Don't know. Don't see all that much of them. How come? You know how they are. Piss me off sometimes is all. Okay. So what's the latest from Clouds? Know anything? Nothing of any interest. We got a new situation, and everybody's trying to adapt. Me too. Doesn't sound like it's all okay. Doesn't mean it isn't. Are you okay? Something got you down all of a sudden? Um, no. Judy. Judy, tell me! Can we please not talk about clouds, the mocks, or Arasaka and Militech, and how the world's going to shit? Just... Rather not think about any of that today. Anything dark. I mean, okay. So ready to tell me what we're doing here? Well, been tinkering with virtues a lot lately and figured out a way to scroll two actors' experiences at the same time. Thought we could try it out. If you're down, of course. I mean, yeah. <laughs> How does one marry two separate neural tracks? Well, at first, I tried to create a single profile out of two data streams. Didn't turn out so great. Must have gotten tangled up. Interference, white noise. Yeah, effect was kind of like a bad art house. Couple tries in, though. I managed to isolate 
specific sensations. So you load them onto separate neural tracks. No emo bogey. What does that mean? <laughs> what do I gotta do? You, my friend, are just gonna scroll me a virtue. That's it. Now, now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This could be my greatest work ever. Okay. Sounds like we could do this anywhere. Why did we come all the way out here? What is this place? Cottage belonged to someone I knew. It sits empty now. I take the liberty to use it from time to time. I mean, and I like it. It's isolated and scroll? we're by ourselves. Perfect. No, we're gonna scroll underwater. Nope, no way. Bad idea. Tell her to find some other yes woman. Shut up! She's my girlfriend, you Johnny! You in? Why would you say that? I don't know. Don't like the idea, that's all. It's just, when I think about the dark, the deep, palms that I don't fucking have get clammy with sweat, I don't see. Oh, I wonder if You're it's like- You're more than welcome to stay on shore. I wonder if it's like PTSD because he was like, his subconscious was taken out of his body. He was trapped into for how many years? Remember before it was inserted inside V? Um, Hell let's yeah, do it. I'm in. Awesome. So, uh, Sorry, Johnny. Let's go. Got the hardware here. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Get that booty of yours suited up. Oh, okay. Um. Do this often? What? Make other girls put on skin-tight wetsuits? Mint diving. As often as I can. As for the rest, well, I'm picky about my girls. Okay! <laughs> Why'd you choose this of all places? <laughs> Why? Don't like it? No, I'm just okay, curious. But any special reason why you chose this one? Of course there is. But you'll have to wait to find out what it is. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna put the suit on for you. I'm gonna put it on for you. Let's oh, I, I meant to equip it. I meant to equip it. My bad. Hang on. Oh, it's. Bitch, what the fuck? What the f I'm bald? <laughs> Why am I bald? <laughs> Water's toxic. That not a problem? The whole reason we're suiting up. Haven't even asked me if I know how to swim. Not worried I'll just sink to the bottom like a bag of rocks? A bag of rocks? Come on, don't sell yourself short. She's hardcore, like, giving me love eyes. Did you see her face? Look pretty damn fine in that wetsuit. You should see me in my Max Tech uniform. Okay, where is Whoa. it? Whoa, mean you have one? Indeed I do. Won it in a bet. Still hangs in my closet waiting for the right occasion huh oh okay yeah, okay <laughs> okay let's go all right let's do this Whew. freezing ass water here i come okay we're all set you go first me Upwards, dive with zero. Okay, where's Judy? Judy! Where are we headed, exactly? About halfway to the deepest point. Where's It'll that be pitch at? black, but the currents are gentle. Ought to be safe. Want the precise coordinates? No, I bother. I'll just stick close to you. Okie dokes. I'll follow you, girlfriend. I'm just gonna s behind you. Virtues are more to you than just a way to churn out eddies, huh? Well, duh. Think it. Paintings, songs, they're meant to produce emotion responses. Generally, I, I get that. I get that. Sure. Why she's into like right, virtues so and stuff. Right, so trigger for emotion. Well, BDs are emotion in near pure form. I'm just scared of like swimming too far away from her because it is kind of dark down here. Not gonna lie. This is it. What is this? Swim over here and look straight at me, will you? Okay. Great. Signal's clear. Just need your help with a few basic checks. Need to calibrate our gear. 
First up, motion sensors and scrolling. Circle around me, swim. Yes, ma'am. So we're on that booty, okay. <laughs> Great, motion calibrated. Now swim hither. Next up, sound check. I'm gonna hum a song. You give me the title. Read me. Okay. She was humming that outside. But I hear you just fine. Need a wider range. Levels can't be short of perfect. Is it pyramid song? No idea what the song is, but I heard it. I go something like. All right, we're all tuned and synced. And you got talent, girl. Not like you. All right, that ought to do it. We are now synced. Why now? Prepare to have your mind blown. Wait for it. Now grab this and hold on tight. Okay. Down we go. Down? Where exactly are we going? <laughs> oh, I can see the floor now. Impressive, huh? Whoa. <laughs> That's incredible. Whoa. What is it? Our very own Atlantis. Yeah, there's a whole ass, like... It used to be called Laguna Bend. Just oh. 15 years ago, people still lived here. What happened here? Why did it get flooded? Cause someone stood to profit. Hmm. Got some connection to this place, right? You got it. Grew up here. Haven't been back since Laguna Bend was wiped off the map. Oh, that's kind of sad. Why are you showing me this? It's important to me. Got a feeling this will be perfect for my experiment. Why does this stand to be perfect? Hoping you'll be able to pick up all the unfiltered mess of emotions this place brings out in me. Like it or not, you'll react to those feelings. That's what I want to capture. Okay. Sounds Nova. Let's do this. This is actually kind of sad. This is like her Played hometown? This coming back so many times in my head. Taking me years. Working up the nerve for this. Why didn't you come earlier? Good question. Easy answer would be that I didn't have time, gear, stars weren't ever aligned. I don't think it's that. The very idea, it just felt weird. Maybe she needed help, I like someone to help. Mm-hmm. Or with some rando. I'm not a rando, am I? <laughs> wow. Yeah, there's like houses all over the place. Hello, Steiner. Flo's Diner. Oh, best Flo's. In town. <laughs> I the thought it was one at that too. Burgers weren't amazing. Too greasy. Big. Of course, I say that now. Back oh, I can hear the diner, like people speaking and, and eating. I'm and assuming I can look at look at where we lived. Me next door. And my grandparents. Oh. Just let me know when you want to forge ahead. Okay, wait. I want to look at other things. Maybe there's something I can like look at. I'm not sure. Weird place for a framed picture. Water probably carried it out of someone's house. Anything to make out? No. Not much. Maybe it might have been hers. You don't know. Got something here. Looks like an old photo cam. DPI 350. Practically an antique. Like it? You kidding? It's awesome. <laughs> oh, you know what? You get that for her. Hockey stick. Is there a skating rink here? 
I wish. Played street hockey on rollerblades. Quit smoothing our music because of you. Call me! Call me! Judy! Anyway, anyway, anyway. Sorry, you gotta go. Sorry, They're calling. Call. They're calling. <laughs> Did she just turn down some kid? <laughs> oh my god. That's funny. Looks like this fell off your one and only eatery. Now let's see. Childhood for you tasted like sushi with real rice. Used to stuff a few in your mouth at once and pretend you were a giant. This tech is seriously next level. You so that's what V like. She likes sushi. And sense intentions too. I guess that's what Not we're getting to for for Judy. What about your parents? Dad was never in the picture. Mom died when I was tiny. Can barely remember her. Aww. Still have her picture, but you know, I see a stranger there. Cause you don't know her. What's so mean? Who's that? Those voices. Voices? Didn't hear anything but you just now. Um, okay. What was it like, living with your grandparents? How were they? Granddad had a real knack for things, technical. Taught me everything I know. And the stories he told, uh, never got bored listening to him. And Grandma was temperamental. Hot one second, cool as steel the next. Hmm. Where'd your grandparents go? Night City? Yeah, for a couple years. Rented the unit that's mine now. But they hated the city. Moved up to Oregon. I still go and visit them sometimes. That's good. Here. Here. Take this camera. Better off in your hands than sitting here collecting algae. Or floating in front of you, that's fine. <laughs> oh god, my thing's freaking out. Let's keep going, Judy. Aye, aye, Captain. Follow me. Yes, ma'am. Yup, just float there. <laughs> We're looking for anything in particular here? Nah. Can't hurt to look around, though. Picking up very chill vibes. Feels like we're outside of time. Like, in a snow globe. Mm. After that, we can see what lies up ahead. What is that? A church? Or a school? There's like a giant building in front of us. Okay, let's look for things that Judy can talk about with us. I can't imagine anything that could be more out of place in an underwater world. Mm. Bottled water? There's a lit <laughs> candle! Hey, <Touché>, Judy. <laughs> uh... I gotta say, don't really get why they left their wheels behind when they had to evacuate. Hey, how old do you think I am? These hunks of metal have got half a century on them. When I was about yay high, they were already here. And not in much better shape. Good cover for playing Max Tack and Psychos, though. Hmm. This isn't yours? Poor thing. Been here all alone for 20 years. So it is yours? No. It was Jenny Chapman's. I don't have your stupid doll. You took her doll. As if. Hit it. It was a monster. You hit it? Why? <laughs> Cause I thought only losers played with dolls. What I really wanted was the- Yeah, I was gonna say, you probably had a crush on her. The days when dolls were just kids' toys and nothing else. Yeah, I know what you Wanna mean. Wanna see what's further on. Come on, then. Wanna show you something. Okay. Got no idea how weird it feels swimming through here. Where you used to run as a kid. Where daily life grinded along. Can imagine it a bit. <laughs> Church hasn't aged at all. Always looked old and like it had landed here from outer space. Bells were cracked too. I gave 
of this eerie atonal clang. Oh, I hear it. Weird. I had no memory of that seconds ago. Now I can almost hear him. Don't know how it's possible, but I think I hear those bells too. Seriously, you can hear my memories? Girl, I've been hearing it this entire time! <laughs> Could look for another way inside. Be my guest. You okay. like going to this church? Never actually went to church. Never even really paid attention to it. It was just there, you know? Mm. Once we knew Laguna Bend was to be flooded, people gathered here to plan a protest. Did it achieve anything? I imagine it didn't. <sighs> look around. Yeah. But I get what she means by like, it was just part of her life. Can I get in here? Nope. Um, it's kind of how it, religion is for me too. Like, I'm not religious whatsoever, but it was definitely just like, part of my life, you know? What about in here? Nope. Uh, can we get it in here? Found oh. an opening. I think we're safe to go through here. Yeah. On my way. This place is like in ruins. But I mean, it's impressive that it's still standing up, even in water. No one was around. I stood at the altar and tried to imagine what went through the Padre's mind, looking at all those people. Back then, I wondered how he could read people's thoughts and know everything about them. Then I screamed at the top of my lungs to check the acoustics. <laughs> That's her little Judy. Did it get chased out? Didn't get chased off? Oh no. Ran out myself. No, it's the same thing happening when we were talking to Pan Am! I thought it was that crush I had on Jenny Chapman. All that guilt I tried yelling out flew right back in my face. Whoa. Okay, that's even worse because we're underwater. V, please. Oh, thank oh, fuck. fuck. You're alive. What happened? What happened? You passed out. How'd you manage to lift me out? Dunno, didn't think about it. Just did what I had to do. Hey, careful. Easy now. Johnny, did you do something? You're saying you saved my life. <sighs> Ruined our date. I told you diving into this toxic waste was going to end badly. But you just don't fucking listen. Toxic waste? Is that your construct? Wait, you can hear him? <laughs> you heard him? Uh, heard's overstating. It's just surfaced in my head a thought that wasn't mine or completely yours you heard him please just ignore his babbling it's a mm, complicated relationship why do i even bother <laughs> i doubt you should go back to the city just now i'm pretty beat too last thing i want to do is drive let's stay the night what do you think yeah 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 stay in, in the, in the thing exactly are we gonna camp on the shore? Nope. There. Our cottage for the day. Yeah! How about it? I will stay with you! Why the hell... not? Whose cottage is that then? You said you knew the owner. One of our neighbors was hell-bent on staying in Laguna Bend. Padges literally dragged him out of his house before the water came in. So he built himself another house as close as he possibly could, but... Then he got sick. Water was way more toxic back then. I see. Is this comfy? You must be chilled to the bone. I'll brew a pot. Okay. How do you take yours? Uh, milk and sugar. That is how milk I drink coffee. Milk and sugar, please. <laughs> Going all in, huh? Mm-hmm.
Ah, forgot to start the generator. Oh, do you want me to do it? I can do it. A generator. What's next? Wontons. Jacuzzi? <laughs> Finish sauna? No, but there is running water. I could turn it on. You're gonna take it easy. No, I can do it! Promise to take it slow. <laughs> Evelyn? I just heard Evelyn. That must be the echoes she was talking about. She didn't hear that then, it was just me. I think you could have fine-tuned the emotive wave transmitters better back there. Got some serious surges from you a few times. Speaking of harm, the way of harm, the way of know what I see, you're gonna be doing walking, talking corpses. What? Power's up. Your little spa is open for business. Judy? 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 What the hell was that? Judy? What was that? Couldn't hear you clearly. Something the matter? No, nothing. What's wrong? You thinking about Evelyn? Clouds has gone to shit. Tiger Claw no next took revenge for Hiromi and the rest. There was a firefight. Tom's dead. What? Roxanne barely got out alive. House is closed until further notice. I'd rather not talk or think about it. Tom's dead! I tell you. Wanted this to be just our day. I want it. It is ours. I'm committing. I'm committing to this relationship. Okay, we're just go going in, huh? sweet actually it's nothing like like if you if you have sex with like the prostitutes in night city it's kind of like yeah that's the whole purpose this one's more like it's more like you can tell that they care about each other that's the way i would explain it it's actually kind of sweet what the heck okay it's, go it's going past sweet now oh my god She looks extremely sad. She's still thinking about like what happened with Evelyn and then now I now now that I know Tom died. Oh my god. She must have really freaked out when V collapsed because she thought she lost someone else again. I'm assuming that's what happened. Can I just be naked? <laughs> Where's my girlfriend now? Judy? Oh, there she is. 
Will you sit with me a while? Here's your coffee. Yeah. Ah, thanks! So, yesterday, what was that exactly? What, the sex? Don't remember, or you want me to remind you? You know exactly what I'm trying to say. What did it mean, like, to you? Oh. Honestly, I think this is the, the game letting me know do you want to commit to the romance or not. As much as I want to be with River too, because, like, bro, I kind of like him as well, but I want to be with Judy, okay? <laughs> I think it... I mean... I hope it was the beginning of something nice. Unless you see things differently. Ugh. It can be such a gonk sometimes. It ruined my plans, you know that? Was gonna leave Night City in the dust for good. Even started packing. Really? But now, I think. I think you wanna I stay with stay. me? She wanted to leave. Is it because of what happened with everybody? Gonna make it up to you somehow. Why do you, you want to leave? You know, everything that happened. Guess it just got to me. But now, from where I stand, Night City started to feel like the place to be. Are you yeah, sure you're gonna be okay? Why? What for? Don't say anything. Just give me your hand. Girl, she's got... She's got a lot of tattoos. I'm not looking at her boobs, I swear. Like, she's got really nice tattoos. <laughs> Wait, what are we doing? All set. Congrats. Just gave you unlimited access to my pad. Oh, Whoa. okay. <laughs> Asking me to move in? If it's what you want. Oh, it's kind of cute. urge grabs you. <laughs> I don't know what to say. You sure? It's like, uh, it's like that joke. Wait. Um. I don't know what to say. Nobody's ever done anything like this for me. Really shows trust. Wanna go there now? You can if you want. Gonna stick around for a bit before I head back. Why later? Can't I hug her? What the hell is this? See yeah, Judy. Bruh, let me uh, kiss her at least. She's my girlfriend. Oh my goodness, Johnny. So we're official now, right? Are we official now? I want to kiss her. <laughs> okay, I think this is a good spot to end the episode here. We're officially dating Judy. We have the key to her. We're moving in with her. Like, basically, I have her new apartment with her. But I'm really happy about that. I, it is interesting how Johnny didn't make a comment though. I, I noticed he didn't make any comment after we had sex with J Judy, you know what I mean? I expect him to be like, yo, oh, like something like dumb, you know what I mean? <laughs> to make a remark, but he didn't. It's, it's kind of nice. He kind of like stepped aside for us. So I kind of appreciate that. Anyway, aside from that, I'm sure we'll get a call from River soon, continuing his mission. And at the same time, dealing with Goro, uh, we, we already infiltrated everything, so I'm just gonna wait for him to call me. I might do the Voodoo, Voodoo Boys quest next, uh, considering that's the only one that I have open, and I don't know if I could talk to Judy further, but I would like to. The game just cut me off like that. I didn't even get to kiss her or anything. What the heck is this? <laughs> anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Cyberpunk 2077, remember to leave a like. Let me know in the comments what you think. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button for more episodes of Cyberpunk. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!